What's up? It's your boy, let him know Zo. Back again with another video. Today's topic is why black and brown unity is a myth. Now, I just want to do a quick little disclaimer, okay? Everything I say in this video is not necessarily representative of the views of all black people or of all quote unquote brown people. So this is just my personal opinion. I can't speak for everybody. So there you go. Now, my first reason why I believe that black and brown unity is a myth is because many Latinos hold anti-black sentiments. Now, again, I want to say, just like I just gave the disclaimer, I know this is not all Latinos, but if we're being real, anti-black racism is a very real thing across Latino communities everywhere. Here in the States, the United States, anywhere throughout Latin America, it exists because literally Latino culture is heavily influenced by white supremacy, okay? I know that many Latinos, probably the vast majority of them are not white, but if you know anything about history, about colonization, the majority of Latin America was colonized by the Spanish who are white Europeans. So naturally, since they were the ones who conquered everything and basically built the culture, their influence is going to be very present in it. And part of the views of the Spanish, along with other European colonial descendants, is anti-Black racism. There are systems that have been set up and they're not exactly physical, obviously. They're kind of abstract, but they are systems that reflect the anti-Blackness held in the hearts of Latinos, white people, anybody who's not Black, and even some Black people too, honestly. It's pretty sad how Black people have internalized hate for other Black people. But um, yeah. Another reason I believe that a black and brown unity is a myth is because black people reject whiteness while Latinos, to a degree, seem to aspire to it. Um, in the early history of the United States, it was made very clear to black people that they were supposedly inferior to white people. Right, so you had your whites only signs, right, for facilities, for stores, for bathrooms, even for things as small as drinking fountains. Um, and that right there kind of gave black people a bad taste in their mouth, letting them know that even if they are born and raised in this country, in the United States, just like any white person, they will never be seen or viewed in the same light. Now, Latinos, I don't know exactly what their history is regarding white people. I mean, obviously it was colonization and everything, but um, typically if a Latino comes to the United States or if they're born here or anything like that, their race is typically going to be something that is brought into question very early on. In Latin America, there's not too much of a focus on race. Um, of course, like there are still different types of people there, but um, everything is not quite as clean cut, I guess you would say, in terms of race as it is in the United States, okay? The United States is a very black, white, binary nation um, because that's those are the two primary groups that were here in this nation like from its, in, from its inception, excuse me, uh, whites being Europeans and blacks being African people who were in, like the, the, the vast majority of them being African people who were forcibly shipped to the Western Hemisphere in order to be enslaved. Uh, so uh, naturally, black people and Latino people are going to have some very different views regarding race. Another reason why I believe that black and brown unity is a myth is because of a phenomenon known as blanqueamiento. 
right? So what that is, is basically the social construct of conditioning people to procreate with somebody who has lighter skin than them, who has straighter hair than them, who perhaps has a more narrow nose or smaller lips, basically just somebody who, if you procreate with them, your offspring will reflect more European leaning features. So uh, basically, Black Yamiento is anti everybody, honestly, because the sole purpose of that is to literally breed out any genetic features that somebody has that don't reflect Europe. Okay, so Black Yamiento is anti black. It is anti-Indigenous American. It is anti-Asian, even though some people might consider Asians, quote unquote, white adjacent. Basically, anybody who is not of clearly discernible European descent, Blancamiento is against them because it is in favor of white people, of European people. You know, the, the pale skin, the straight hair, the light colored eyes one thing that's especially coveted is the blonde hair okay they love that uh b black folks and latinos alike have both been very um slighted basically in the sense that they've been made to feel that they're not as good as europeans so how can black people and latino people unite when they clearly have all these things in their minds that are basically Hang o hanging over from the slavery days and from the colonial days that are preventing them from getting together. It just it can't work out. Another reason that I believe black and brown unity is a myth is because many people, regardless of their backgrounds, have internalized racism. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, black people, Many of them, unfortunately, hold anti-Black hatred in their heart as Black people. And that's very sad. Like, it's like, how can you hate yourself? Like, you look in the mirror and that's literally who you are. Like, you are Black. How can you be anti-Black? But it's actually more common than is really a nice thing to think about. Um, so if Black people can be programmed to hate each other. Of course, non-black people can be programmed to hate black people, whether it be because of their history, um, whether it be because of their phenotype, you know, the, the richly melanated skin, the dark brown eyes, the thick, dark colored, voluminous hair, uh, the full lips, whatever it may be. Um, there are just many things that Black people have been put through and have been subject to. And these are all things that kind of everybody who is not Black has taken notice of and kind of makes a point to distance themselves from Blackness because they don't want to be associated with such features, such circumstances, such social stigma, really. Another reason that I believe black and brown unity is a myth is because of the social benefits. And what I mean by that is, what would the social benefits be for Latinos who are looking to align themselves with black people or vice versa? What would the social benefits be for black people looking to align themselves with Latinos? Typically, in a situation like this, you are going to have people with very different mindsets, um, people coming from very different backgrounds. Um, so, of course, you're going to have people who believe things differently than one another. Everybody is not going to have the same exact mindset as everybody else, obviously. So, um, typically, it's kind of hard. It's, it's almost like mixing water with oil like it, it just doesn't go because they're just too different i mean of course black people and latinos can make an effort to collaborate and come together and 
realize the common ground that they share, but uh, it seems that on a grand scale, uh, that's not what's been happening. Um, one final reason that I do believe that black and brown unity is a myth is because of cultural differences. Now, Latin America is a very, very vast region, okay? It, con it covers the, the entirety of South America, and it covers, I would say, approximately the lower third of North America, okay? What I mean is Mexico right there. So I, I believe it's a part of North America, even though culturally it's part of Latin America. Um, and then you also have the Caribbean islands, right? The uh, ones that are part of Latin America would be the Dominican Republic, um, Cuba, and Puerto Rico. So um, like I mentioned earlier, the concept of blanqueamiento that is something that is deeply ingrained into the culture of many Latin countries across the globe. Um, South America, you have uh, Brazil, you have Mexico, uh, I'm sorry, you have um, Bolivia, you have Argentina, you have Peru, you got Chile and all those other um, Hispanic countries. Um, and from early on, from early on in life and from early on in the uh, inception of those nations um the foundation that has been placed was very uh european centered right so any anybody who was not european was basically just completely disregarded or completely disrespected and uh that's kind of been the norm ever since of course <clears throat> the various countries of latin america have a a very uh, racially diverse population today um as it's known to be one of the most diverse places in the world, being home to people of European descent, African descent, uh, indigenous Americans, um, Asians, Arabs, and a lot of many different groups. Um, so there are going to be many different um, perspectives, like I noted before, but um, typically if you're somebody who was born and raised in a South American country or in a a uh, Hispanic Caribbean island country, chances are you've heard of the term mejorar la, la raza, which in Spanish translates to improve the race, which by that they really mean whiten the race. Procreate with somebody who looks closer to European than you do so that your offspring can look closer to Europeans than you do. The idea is to basically breed out whatever you are in favor of European genes, European phenotypes and things like that. And honestly, it's very unfortunate that some people still think this way, but uh, we've yet to make progress. And I'm sure that with some work we can, and uh, hopefully one day in the not too distant future, black and brown unity can become a real thing. I am Let Them Know Zoe. This has been my video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm out.